Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Jen and I am going to teach a 30 minute gentle strength and stretch workout using a chair. Um, if you happen to have a chair on wheels, I highly suggest not using a chair on wheels. You need a stable chair that will not move when we do some of our movements. So please make sure your chair is stable preferably with no handrails, but if you have side arm rails, then you can use those if needed. Um, today you're going to need your soup cans. Again, I have two different varieties here. One is a little bit um, bigger, so the grip is a little bit harder. The lighter one, I don't wanna do any promotion here, but the one that is a smaller can might help some of you with a better grip. So choose your cans wisely, or you can use water bottles. And then again, I have my two pound rice container to use. If you have weights at home, you can use weights too. All right, so I'm gonna put those aside. This is gonna be a 30 minute exercise video with a warm up stretch, movements for the full body, head to toe, balance work, and then we'll stretch at the end. I unfortunately cannot play music during this, so I apologize that it's quiet, but if you wanna put music on in the background and watch me, you can do so. So let's get started. Place your chair either in front or behind, and start just by marching in place. You can also do this from the chair. If you're gonna be warming up in the chair, just sit toward the edge of your chair, and as we do the heel taps, do them seated with the arm work. So to begin, you're marching in place, getting the blood flowing to those extremities, and let's start with a heel tap forward with a double arm push. Very nice. So again, you can do this sitting in your chair, or you can do it standing, heel taps in front, arms pressing in front, stand nice and tall. Excellent. All right, let's do eight more. And last four, three, two, and one. Marching back in place, you're gonna take your arms, place them up just below shoulder height, arms in front of the chest, Open and close. Open and close. Good. Press out. Now give me a toe tap in front. So tap the toes. Tap and in. Tap that toe and in. If you want to make it a little more challenging, go ahead and add a gentle knee lift. Knee up and down. Lift up and down. Good. You can continue with the toe tap or the knee lift. Four more. Four. Excellent, three, two, and one. Back to marching in place. Let's do a little step touch to the side. Hands on those hips to begin. Step, touch, step and tap. Let's add a little biceps curl. Arms go down in front, Boop. curl up. Watch your chair. You might have to move your chair for this warm up, but keep it close if you need it for balance. Step together. Excellent, keep that chest lifted, head in neutral, shoulders down and relaxed. Perfect. And four more. Three, two, and one. March it out wide. If you need your chair, place your chair in front. I'm gonna keep mine to the side, but if you need it, hang on to your chair. Toes turned out, feet wider than shoulder width apart, and a small plie, and come up. If you don't need your chair, arms in front, raise the arms out, shoulder height, down, and lift, plie, and lift, excellent. Let's do a few more, good, and down, lift, last two, down, and lift, and down, very nice, bring those feet back in, march it in place, shoulder circles up and back, good, remember this is your warm up, you wanna get the blood flowing to the extremities before we start with our stretch and movement, Last one, and shoulder circles forward. Lift and forward. Good, and last one. Very nice, go ahead and put your chair in front, stand behind that chair, go out into a nice big straddle, hang on to the chair for balance, and slightly plie, good. Left hand or right hand on that hip, and let's do a side stretch, opening from the hip to the shoulder. If this is painful, Reach the arm across in front, or keep the hand on the chair as you do your gentle 
lean to the side, come on up, switch sides, opposite hand on that hip, opposite arm up above and hold, excellent. And then deep breath in, exhale, bring that body back up and behind that chair, we're gonna do some rocking and rolling. So your feet are hip distance apart, stand nice and tall, pretend you have a string running through the top of your head and you're going to lift up on the balls of the feet and back, lift and lower, excellent, lift and lower. If you don't need the chair, hands to the side, four more, good, three, last two, keep those abdominal muscles engaged, and last one. Very nice, take your right foot, step your right foot forward behind that chair, left leg bent, I'm sorry, right leg bent, left leg straight behind you, so it looks like this from the side. Front leg is bent, back leg is straight, toes pointing forward, hands on that chair, and hold, if you can, arms down to the side, now you're gonna lift that back heel up for four and lower. Three and lower, arms up shoulder height. Last one and relax. Good, hands on that chair back, switch feet. Opposite foot forward, bend the front leg, straighten the back leg, toes pointing in the same direction. Keep the chest lifted, shoulders down and relaxed and lift and lower that back heel for a back Heel raise for the calf. Excellent. Two, three, and one more, and four. Very nice. Bring the hands back to the chair. Stand up nice and tall, hands down to the side. And I want you to take a deep breath in, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Stay right here for that nice tall posture and carefully drop one ear to one shoulder and hold. Take the opposite arm on the opposite side, straighten it down toward the floor, palm behind you, and slowly raise that arm behind you and hold for an even greater stretch through that side. Relax the arm down to the side, head to neutral. Carefully tilt the head to the opposite side. Notice my shoulders are staying parallel to the floor. Don't lift that opposite shoulder up. Now take that free arm, opposite from the direction your head's going, palm behind you, and gently press and raise that arm behind you for an even greater stretch up through the shoulder, chest, into the neck. Very nice, hands down to the side. Keep that nice tall posture and carefully tilt that chin toward the chest and hold. Remember, if you get tired, even with the warm up, go ahead and take a seat. You can do all these moves from your chair. And deep breath in, exhale, come back to neutral. Interlock both hands, keep your feet hip distance apart. Soften the knees and round your back forward. If this is too hard to do with your hands, if you have any arthritic issues, any pain, tendonitis, um, place your hands together and just reach forward rather than pressing and extending through the palm of the hands. Make a letter C with that spine. I'll turn to the side so you can see. Round your back, chin to your chest. Excellent. And then open those arms up and gently reach behind you, stretching into the chest and shoulders. Very nice. And deep breath in, exhale, bring those arms down to the side. Okay, we're gonna start with some scapular work. What you're going to do is you're gonna pretend that you have a walnut on the center of your spine, and these are your shoulder blades, they're wing tip bones. You wanna squeeze the shoulder blades together and relax. So your feet should be hip distance apart, or if you're sitting in a chair, sit up nice and tall, relax your shoulders, let your arms just be dead weight, and you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades toward the spine, imagining that you're cracking a walnut that's on your spine. Good, so I'm gonna turn so you can see, you're squeezing those shoulder blades. The arms just move with the movement. I don't want you to use your arms to push back. Make sure the work is coming from the upper back, shoulders as you squeeze back. Excellent, let's do a few more. Keep those knees soft, pelvis in neutral. Gently engage the abdominal muscles. So when you do that, pretend I'm gonna walk around and tickle you in the belly area. You wanna resist that tickle, so you tighten up those muscles in the core. And squeeze, excellent. A few more, squeeze and release. Nice chest stretch and back strengthener. Last two. And squeeze and release and one more. Very nice, very nice. 
So now we're going to do what's called a downward dog stretch from the chair. So what you're going to do, I'm going to push my chair forward a little. Hands go, shoulder width apart. You're going to walk your feet back until your hips are over your heels. And you're going to soften your knees, a slight bend in your knees, and then gently let the chest and head come forward. I'll turn the chair so you can see the move. It's called the downward dog from the chair. Walk your feet back, hips over your heels, slightly bend the knees, and then keep the back straight as you gently come forward and keep the head neutral with the spine. Don't tuck your chin to your chest. And hold as you feel the stretch in behind the thighs, in the glutes, the buttock area, low back, up through the shoulders, and then take a deep breath in. Exhale and slowly bring the head and chest and back up and then walk your feet in. Very nice. All right, we're gonna start today with biceps curls. So go ahead and grab the appropriate weight. And you're gonna come over to the side of your chair. Stand up nice and tall. And your feet can either be hip distance apart or you can do what's called a staggered stance. So a staggered stance is if you're gonna just go for a walk and you take one step forward. So step one foot forward and stay close to the chair if you need it for balance. You're going to curl your arms up and lower. Curl your arms up and lower. So just that staggered stance is a balance challenge for a lot of people. It's easier when your feet are here a little more challenging when you take one foot and step forward. Now be sure to keep both feet, uh, excuse me, keep weight equal on both your feet as you do your curl up. Now for those that have been doing this for a while and don't have balance issues, when they go to raise their heels up, I'd like you to try to lift up your heels and lower. Lift up your heels as you curl with those weights. Excellent. Good. Continue. Lift and lower. Breathe through your moves. Don't hold your breath. Lift and lower. And a few more. Curling up with those soup cans or water bottles or weights that you have at home. Two more. And lower. And last one. Very nice. March it in place. And we're going to switch feet and do the same thing on the other side. Good. Before we do that though, I want your feet hip distance apart. Slightly bend the knees and just give me some shoulder shrugs up and lower. So that added weight with your arms adds more resistance as you shrug the shoulders up, scapular elevation and depression. Don't let gravity just pull your arms back to the floor. Slow it down after you do your contraction and when you release. So this is the concentric mode shortening the muscles and eccentrically lengthening them. Don't let gravity just pull your arms back down toward the floor. Three more. Good, last two. Keep those abdominal muscles engaged, pelvis in neutral, knees soft. Excellent. All right, let's switch feet. Opposite foot forward for the staggered stance. Remember, if this is not comfortable, if you need your chair, stay behind your chair. And I'm just trying to let you all see the movement of the body so that I'm not blocked with the chair all the time. Feet are in a staggered stance. Lift that chest, relax those shoulders. Start with your biceps curls. Now, if you have issues with your wrists, any arthritis in the hands, fingers, don't turn the weights. I want you to keep the weights in what's called a hammer curl. So you're lifting the weights without twisting. This would be twisting and you can modify and do a hammer curl. Let's add those heel raises now. So add that balance challenge, lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Try to stay with my pace. Don't go more quickly than I'm going. You wanna have smooth, controlled movements as you lift up onto those heels, curl up, and lower, lift, and let's do a few more, and then we'll do a nice little stretch here. Good, last two, and one more. Lift, and lower. Very nice, place those weights down. Stay close to your chair if you need it for balance. You're going to take your arms, you're gonna raise them up with the palms facing front, thumbs up toward the ceiling, just shoulder height, and gently reach back. Pretend I'm behind you and I'm gently pulling those wrists behind you so you get a nice chest, shoulder, bicep stretch. Excellent. 
and then release and let's take one hand place it on the opposite shoulder take that free hand and gently pull the elbow across but watch my shoulder don't lift that shoulder up toward the ear keep the shoulders parallel to the floor and then we're going to have just a little torso rotation here if you don't have any back issues take a deep breath in and torso rotation head follows and hold good deep breath in exhale and return home and you're going to switch arms opposite hand on the opposite shoulder gently grab the free elbow knees slightly bent pelvis in neutral hold it as you gently pull that arm across do not force your stretch mild tension is what you should feel and then take a deep breath in exhale and add that torso twist keep the hips forward don't rotate this would be wrong don't rotate with those hips keep the hips facing front and just the upper body rib cage up to the top of the head turns and open those arms up excellent all right i'm going to check our time here and we're doing quite well we're going to do a single arm standing row if this is too uncomfortable to do standing you can do it seated so i'll show you seated first you're going to grab one weight you're going to take a seat in your chair sit toward the edge use the free hand to support yourself and here's your single arm row keep the elbow close to the body more advanced you're going to come up place your free hand on the back of your chair step the leg closest to the chair forward your opposite leg goes behind you're going to bend the front leg drop the arm to the side and then carefully hip flex forward hip flexion forward and row nice and slow i'll turn to the side so you can see what it looks like front leg is bent back leg is straight if you want to make it more challenging drop that hand to the thigh excellent if you want to make it even more challenging lift that back heel up and add a lunge with that back leg again that's more advanced always modify don't push through pain i'm going to keep mine here with the front leg bent back leg straight single arm row you can add that knee bend on the back foot or on the back leg if you'd like good breathe through your moves perfect and let's do two more row and release and last one very nice carefully stand up first bring that opposite leg in march in place switch sides so i apologize if my counts aren't accurate on each side i usually have people in class who will yell out if we're getting close to the number so i do apologize if i go over or under on a few opposite leg forward leg closest to the chair hip hinge forward let that opposite arm with the weight in it just relax and then single arm row to the side breathe through the moves take your free hand if you want more of a balance challenge put that free hand on the front leg more of a challenge lift that back heel up and as the arm comes down go into that knee bend this is the most difficult of the movement modify as needed keep that arm close to the body very nice draw that arm up lower a little bit easier don't move that back leg modify and again don't push through any pain all right we're almost there excellent movement for the shoulder upper back and of course the core and the glutes and come on up good march it in place take your water bottle place it down come behind your chair let's do a side stretch go out into that wide stance keep one hand on the chair if you need it reach that opposite arm up and then if you want a little bit more place the hand on the hip add a gentle rotation forward and stretch getting into that back and shoulder on that one side come back to the side first come on up switch sides reach up if you want a little bit more rotate the chest forward head forward and reach that free arm toward the corner of your room getting into that upper back shoulder excellent you're even going to feel it in your lower back come to the side come on up and there you go nice job all right before we take a seat all right still have some time before we take a seat we're going to do some upright rows working for working the shoulders so you're going to need your soup cans or your water bottles you can be behind your chair i'm going to move my chair so you can see the move here you're going to go out into that nice big straddle position 
Again, modify, bring your feet in closer if it's not comfortable. Arms are in front, palms are facing your thighs. You're going to draw an imaginary V in front of your body. Drawing up underneath the armpits. Good, and then we're gonna add a little plie, working those inner thighs. So you're gonna row up, and then you're going to go into that plie. Row, and down. Good, lift, and lower. Exhale, and inhale. Good, if it's painful with weights in your hands, put the weights down and just do the movements without weights in your hands. Very nice, lift, and lower and lift and lower very nice we're almost there lift and lower and two lower down last one and lower bring those feet in march it in place we're gonna do a little challenge now working our arms chest and back and shoulders and we're going to involve the lower body so what you're going to do you're going to bring the elbows toward each other and open but we're going to add a challenge with either a heel tap or a knee lift so you can drop a heel in front as you bring the elbows in or do a knee lift and lower lift and lower or you can add a cross body movement add a little rotation elbow to the knee working the core a little bit more your obliques excellent Elbows, arms stay bent at 90 degrees. Elbows, shoulder height are a little bit lower. Cross over, cross. Very nice. Remember, modify as needed. If you get tired, take a break, grab a sip of water, put me on pause, and then start back up. Four more. Good, three more. And last two. Excellent. Place those weights into the chair. We're going to take a seat after this stretch. You're going to place your fingertips behind your ears, feet hip distance apart, and gently press the elbows back, stretching into the chest and shoulder. Hold. And deep breath in. Exhale. And release. Elbows in. Arms down. All righty. You're going to have a seat in the chair. Take your weights. Place them down. And we're going to start with, um, let's do our sit to stand actually. We're gonna do that because that one is very important. So you're gonna grab your two pound can or rice or whatever you might have at home that's a little bit heavier than the small soup can. So you want something a little bit bigger. You wanna sit right on the edge of your chair, walk your feet back, and you're gonna take a deep breath in, exhale, come out of your chair and take a seat. Good. Exhale, squeeze those glutes, press into your heels as you come up. Come on out of that seat and lower. Try not to drop into your seat. Slow on the way down. Good. And lift and lower. Excellent. Lift, have a seat. Let's do six more. Exhale as you push through or inhale, just breathe through the moves. Very nice. Four more. Good. Three more. And last two. Lift and lower and one more. And lift and lower. Very nice. Take that weight down. Take a deep breath in. Let's raise those arms up. Exhale out. And one more deep breath in. And exhale out. Very nice. All right, we're going to do some tricep kickbacks or you're going to do an overhead extension. So there's two different moves here. Grab your water bottles or canned goods. Feet are forward, elbows close to the body. Hip hinge forward and press back. Now, if you want a little bit more today, take those weights, raise them up above your head and lower behind your head. Very nice, lower and lift. 
Let's do those toe raises, working the front part of the legs here. Lift those toes up. Tap down if you're doing your kickbacks. Toes up. Tap down. Toes up. Excellent. Lift and lower and lift. Very nice. Lift and lower. Good, you're almost there. Keep that head naturally extended from the spine. Don't tilt that chin forward if you're doing the overhead raises. Two more. And last one. Beautiful. Bring those weights down. Let's take one weight in your hand. I'm gonna actually switch to my soup can. Take one weight in your hand. Walk your feet in so your feet are just about two to three inches apart. Knees are a little bit closer, but don't bring them together. You're gonna take that can and you're going to reach underneath your knees and grab the can and circle. Hip hinge forward. So we're doing some core work, working those muscles in the abdominal area, low back. As you see fit and if it doesn't bother your shoulders, make that circle bigger and bigger each time that you go. Hip hinge forward, grab your can, reach above, Again, modify as needed. If this is too hard with the can, good. Just do the motion with nothing in your hand. Very nice. We're gonna do two more. Hip hinge forward. Reach underneath your knees, grab that can. And one more. And bring it down. Very nice. Before we go in the opposite direction, sit up nice and tall. Lift the chest, relax the shoulders, and let's all look over one shoulder. Stretching the neck and hold. Your stretches should be held for at least 10 seconds. And then take a deep breath in, bring your head back to neutral, and let's all look over the opposite shoulder. Keep those abdominal muscles engaged, keep the chest lifted and the shoulders relaxed. And then bring that head back to neutral. Excellent, and then chin to your chest and hold. Very nice. Bring that head back to neutral. Now we're gonna go in the opposite direction. So switch hands. Hip hinge forward, grab that can and gently come up. And hip hinge forward, very nice. Come forward and lift up. Remember, you wanna be on the edge of your chair and please do not try to pass the weight or can good underneath the chair. That's gonna be very difficult. You wanna be forward on that seat, sitting right on your sits bones, those two bony pieces in the hip area in the pelvis you going to be sitting right on those sits bones. And lift. Good. Hip hinge forward. And up. And two more. Nice shoulder work, core work. Last one. And come on up and bring it down. Excellent. Place that can to the floor. Nice job. You got some back work, some shoulder work. Did our standing and sitting, so we got the lower body in there. You got that lunge in there if you did that with your seat, uh, single arm row. And you got some chest work when we went elbow to knee and some obliques. Did a really good job today. So now we're just gonna finish with some stretches. For this stretch, I'm gonna have you walk your feet out nice and wide. Good. You're gonna take your one arm and place the forearm down on that thigh. And you're gonna reach up to the side and side stretch and hold. Excellent. Again, holding for 10 seconds. And then deep breath in, push that body up, switch sides, opposite side, reach, putting the weight onto the free arm so you don't hurt your back. Excellent. And then you're gonna sit up nice and tall. You're gonna walk those feet in. You're going to lift one leg up, gently pull that knee towards your chest. Keep the back nice and tall, keep the spine stacked, head in neutral. Excellent. And release and let's switch legs, opposite leg up. Sit up nice and tall, gently pull that leg towards your chest, stretching into the low back and glutes. Very nice. And bring that foot down to the floor, stay up nice and tall, arms down to the side, and just circle those shoulders back for four, three, two, one, and circle forward. Four, three, two, and one. Place your free hand on that chair right here, and you're gonna lift that arm up, and let's go into another side stretch. 
reach, stretching into that hip, up through the shoulder, out through that hand. Let's open and close those fingers. Open and close. And use that hand to push the body up. Switch hands, put your hand on that chair. Side stretch and open and close those fingers. Excellent. And one more. Good. Bring that arm back down. And then I want you to pick, keep your feet hip distance apart. I want you to drop your arms to the side and you're gonna take a deep breath in, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Stay here with that nice tall posture and carefully bring your chin to your chest and hold. Feel that nice stretch and release into those muscles in the neck where we carry a lot of tension. And then deep breath in, bring the head back to neutral. And that's your 30 minute workout. Next week, I'm going to add in some floor work. So for those of you that cannot get on the floor, I'll try to modify in the chair, but I wanna give you at least half in the chair or standing and then half on the floor on the mat. And if you have a hard time with the second half, you can go back and repeat these from week one and week two to add into your workout. Hope you're all doing well. I miss you all and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.